I can twist in that bolt and you should see everything pulled together. Perfect. Awesome. Let's rearrange things a little bit. Put that glove back on, which I only took off so I could grab the camera. So welcome back. Not sure what part this is, three or four. But uh, I'm running out of rubber gloves and paper towels. So let's spin this around, maybe tilt it to get some light into the other flange. Don't fall. Oh, shifted a little bit. It shifted a little bit. Yeah, it's a greasy flange right there. Okay, so there'll be a seal behind this one too. Put a couple of these in. Somewhere in the bottom of that greasy mess, there's a Allen key, Allen head bolt, whatever you call it, Allen head bolt. Because um, these axles don't have uh, covers on the end of the axle. The grease is just allowed to live in there inside the flange. Or I've seen other axles that have a cover on the end of the axle, so the grease doesn't just go into the flange. But no, the flange is the cover, so whatever. Dry flange that is. Oh, I'm feeling a lot better once I, now that I've got that seal in that the other side. This is the first time doing that, so this this will be my second time doing it, so now I'm an expert. Alright? So that's how are we gonna how are we gonna break it loose? Last time I kind of did this, and it's just a six millimeter Allen wrench, so pushing on it. Didn't quite do it. Let's see, I'll put this down there. Put that on there. This one's nice because it's got the little ball end, so there's a little place to. Uh... There we go. A little place for the thing to catch. How are we doing there? Not ready to go that easy yet. There we go. Well, now it should be ready. Yeah, there we go. So that's spring loaded. Let's watch it from the other side. Watch that space. Okay, so it's just, it just tucks itself in there. So this side doesn't have a, oh, pop. This side doesn't have a big, uh, plastic flange or metal flange on the outside the seat this this is the flange it's built into the the dust flange i guess you'd call it i don't know the dust whatever there's there's our old seal there's our new seal this big flat pry bar can you do that safely put my foot on here I want to scratch the inside of that. <laughs> the other one I got, I was able to get behind the flange part and just knock it out. But this one, this one's going to be different. Trust your instincts, you gotta go by feel. Till you know it is for real. I can use the old part from the other side. Yeah, you can always use the old part. That's the problem. That's why I don't sell enough of those tools, because you can always use the old part. But the old part on top of that old seal, push that face to face, the two seals, push them against each other. Yeah. Let's do that. Anyway, you get the idea. I probably won't film that part. But I would like to film the part where I'm so excited to put everything back together because this is the last job. This is that 
I wanted to do with the transmission and the engine out of the car. So, yeah. Pretty exciting. I'll probably have to do the same thing as the other side. Put the seal in. And then when I put this in, I'll have to be careful that I don't lose any of those shiny brass bits. And I'll have to compress that spring before the bolt will start to thread in. Of course, I'll lube everything, clean everything and lube everything before I put it together. My nice uh, synthetic gear oil. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good day. Good day, first time. So, so far, so good for the first timer. I, I assumed you didn't want to watch me nervously uh, hammer that new seal in, but um, I did get it in using the old seal, the old flange from the other side, and this piece of wood and a combination of two or three of these, or all three of them at a time. Managed to get that seal in satisfactorily. And uh, I was just rigging up the strap on this side to compress the spring on the inside of the flange so that I could get tighten up the bolt when I realized I forgot to put the bolt in. And I don't think I can sneak it past this strap now because this strap is hella tight. So let's loosen the ratchet strap just conveniently, conveniently under here. Sorry. All right, repositioned. Let's get this strap off of here so I can get that bolt back in. Oh my gosh, that's tight. All right, let's see. There we go. Let it pop. Opened a little gap up there. Still don't have it got the tension off. There we go. Still don't have room to get in there. And I don't want to get dirty. Like I said, I'm running out of paper towels and gloves. So let's just try to, either way, I'm gonna use a bunch of either. So let's try to put some, reuse these gloves again. Turn inside out. Right, what was I doing? Okay, I should be able to sneak that bolt back in. Clean off the end of it, though. All right, so that's in there. Like I said, you can't tighten it unless it won't engage. There's not enough bolts and threads and space in the center. You need to compress this first. At least I do. I don't know. Maybe other people get lucky. I don't know. We're up all night. Good fun. Up on, oh, don't leave your finger in there. Jeez. Up all night to get lucky. There we go. One more. Come on. Yeah, that should do it. Now, can I still get the wrench in there? Luckily, it's a ball end. So I can come in at an angle. Just as long as I can get it started. Doesn't feel very nice though. Is it because of the tension on here? Yeah, it's just because of the tension on there. See, that feels nicer. It's got a nice cone shape on the bottom of that bolt. And yeah, that's, it's not many threads engaged. Like it's just, that can't be. That, that's where it was before. It's just a few threads engaged. It's just. Weird. And the torque is like, I don't know, like 18 foot pounds. It's like nothing. It's so little torque, I could probably just hold it with the strap. But let's take the strap off. Just hooked in a couple spots there. Uh, let's see. Let's use the ones that are actually tight in there. I'm gonna be pushing this way. I'm gonna to wanna to counter hold it. Most awkward way possible. Now let's just see what happens. So I just have to see what, which way it's gonna go. Oh, is this not? 
think I'm gonna have to do something different. Do this. Maybe I can counter hold it against the case so that I have a hand free. I think. Yeah, there we go. That's held against the case. And then that there. And then, okay, don't fall out. Just don't fall out, okay? Can I let go of you? All right. I'll put some tension on you. There you go. I think that's plenty. One more try. Good. We got some differential action. Yep. That's probably it for right now. I should clean up. Get ready to put those two back together.